So there's a whole bunch of drywall anchors out on the market today. Which one's better? Which one's easier? Do you need tools to hang with some of them? We're gonna test them out. I spent a whole lot of money on these drywall anchors today. And we're gonna put them to the test. We're gonna see which ones are cool and which ones ain't cool. So I say sit back, get relaxed, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. And let's get this video going. So we got all different type of anchors here. We got, you know, drywall anchors, we got monkey hooks, we got toggles, we got claws. We got some that you will need a drill for. We have some that you'll need a hammer for. We'll have some that you won't need any tools for. But let me close my eyes and see which one we're gonna go with first. Sharp. We're going with this one. So the first one we got here today is called the Easy Anchor. Now what's cool about this one here is all you really need is an impact. I would suggest you drill it, but they do have that very sharp point, which I proved by smashing my finger on top of it. All you sort of do is push in on it a little bit, and it'll drill itself in. Now they also make these in metal, larger and smaller for different weight capacities. And you can see it already has a Phillips put into this. Now the pluses with this type of anchor is, yeah, they're easy, but there are also negative. First issue I found with these is sometimes that Phillips strips out because it is plastic, so the metal would definitely work better sometimes. And the other issue is they always leave a very big hole when you go to take them out. Now this one here is your conventional style of anchor. This one's from Triple Grip and 61 pounds. Again, you can buy bigger or smaller depending on the weight limit you're looking at. My problem with these type of anchors is that you always have to drill a hole for them. Not to mention if your hole is too small, you have to find a bigger bit, drill it bigger, or if your hole's too big, these just won't work. All right, so the hole was a little bit small, but we can probably tap this in. Now, of course, you take your Phillips screw right here, take your drill or impact, and go ahead and tighten it down. Definitely not my favorite out of the bunch, but you can see it opens up in the back and you don't have to worry about this thing really coming out. So now let's move it over to my new favorite one. I done actually done a whole video on this and sold out Amazon because they were so popular. See, this one got some tubes on it. And what's cool about this is all you need is a hammer to put it in. Let's go this way here. You can see it started. So you can see it came through the back, but watch what happens when I put the screw in. Just your basic standard Phillips that comes with these. These will also hold up to 66 pounds. See how that opens up like so? That, it's real nice like. But what's really cool about this is when I take that screw out and if I wanted to pull this out, all you have is a little slit and you barely see a hole. Now we got something called Pop Toggle. 80 pounds, hmm? My <laughs> God, these are horrible. You gotta sort of push down and like bend it in like, like this. Ugh. You still gotta drill a hole. You put this in there like this through the hole. Tap that in a little bit. All right, here we go. So that basically prevents us from opening up. Now, if I were to loosen this up and take it out again, how are you gonna get that thing back out of there? Pop toggle? So this is the 3M claw. Mark, push, hang. Okay, they give you a temporary spot marker. Hmm. Stupid. Now you can also buy these in different sizes and different holding capacities. This one here is 25 pounds. Now this is the most expensive out of all of them. I think this one ran me six bucks, but the bigger one's running around 10, 15. All you're supposed to do is push. So let's push. Huh. Hmm. Uh, where are the hooks? Mm -hmm. So this right here did not go the whole way through the drywall, which you would imagine it would. But other than that, I mean, real nice like. Then if you wanted to pull this out, that's not too bad at all. 3M claw. So this one right here is called wall claw. 90 LBS and only a hammer needed. Got one of those. Well, those are extremely bright. All right, let's see what happens when we put in the screw. Hmm. I will admit, watching that footage back, that was pretty freaking cool. Wall claw? This one here is called Ook. So the premise behind this is you take a screwdriver, stab your wall with it, insert this, and then put in a bunch of nails. 
I can do that. <laughs> Here comes the hook. Now this thing's supposed to hold 200 pounds. All right. So basically how this goes, how is you take this and you bring it up like that and, and up like that. Try this from the back side so you can see it. And it goes like that, okay. And then to prevent this from moving around like so, you have to put in 53 different nails. The nails come out way too easy. Look, those nails, come on. Next up, we have Everbuilt Hollow Wall Anchors. 85 pound holder, again, they have larger or smaller, and you only need a hammer to install. So I guess you don't take the screw out for this one. I mean, this all goes in at the same time. Let's do this, shall we? Hmm, holy Batman, what's going on here? That might have been a fluke. Let me move it down again and see if that changes. Oh, man. And now you just tighten it down with a screw. Okay, you see how that expands out? So you drive this down until it won't go anymore. It opens up. And then once you get that tightened down, you're gonna have to loosen it up again so you can use a screw to hang your picture on. Only problem is it looks like you were at a shooting range and you can see this is digging into the drywall. I don't believe this would hold 85 pounds. And for that, well, let's see if Ook can redeem themselves. So the premise is the nails go down and it's not even a 45 degrees, but it's supposed to give it more hanging power because the nails are going to go down maybe like a 20 degree right there. Well, let's try it. I mean, in premise, they work and pretty easy to take out. Don't leave a huge hole. You can always put that back in. Me personally. Next up, toggle bolts. So you are going to have to drill a hole for this. Hmm, 95 pounds. Hmm. Toggle bolt goes on like so. Uh -huh. And of course, the plan would be if you have a shelf or something else that you have a hole here, you could screw this down, pull that tight, and it will definitely give you a strong grip. A little bit of a different application, but toggle bolts, mm. All right, look, this is your last chance. Now, on my other video with the drywall hanger, which I'll put at the end of this video, by the way, everybody kept telling me about the monkey hook. Just a basic piece of metal, if you will, and this one holds 35 pounds. Everybody kept saying how much they love the monkey hook. All right, let's check it out. No tools, You've got a sharp piercing piece right here. Just go into the drywall like so, and then it comes up like that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Let's try this again, but from the back side. Here we go. I'm going to push it through. I'm going to push, 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 push. Wow. Check that out. Oh, look at this. I got a nice little hanging area right there. The only real problem that I'm seeing here is if you were to mark your hole and say you want it exactly right there, this hook sticks up about a quarter inch past where you would actually put this. So you would have to put that into your calculations. But I knew you could do it, Ook. Wouldn't have to worry about those holes either. Take this out pretty easy, it looks like. Oh, look at that. That's real nice. Like. Now the last one I got right here, I think somebody's going to like. This one's from Cobra, 90 pound driller toggle. Works basically the same as the last one I showed you, but check this out. We're gonna drill this in. Now you just take your bolt, throw it in the front here, like so, and watch the back. Oh. I really like that a lot. So, which one do I hate the most? Oh, so many to choose from. Well, to be honest with you, I hate most of them. This right here, good premise, nails, crap, crap. These hollow wall anchors, crap. My top picks. Again, these are still my favorites. I'll leave a link in the description below, but I don't even think you can buy the damn things anymore because they're all sold out. My second favorite, even though it's more expensive, I really like the 3M Claw. Monkey Hook, you did an excellent job. Definitely recommend it. I think the other wall claw did a pretty good job, but for fourth place, I gotta go with the Easy Hook. I really do like these, but they're not my favorite anymore. 
I also dislike these very much. So there you go, all a bunch of different wall anchors that I found from the Home Depot. Let me know which one you like the best, and if there's another one that you like to see brought to this channel, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you could smash that like button, appreciate it. Also, don't forget to get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more cool videos like this. Matter of fact, I'll leave one right here for you at the end of this video. I always appreciate you stopping by, and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.